But Nat Fine was not the only one to come away with a memorable shot. Another photographer was also there at Yankee Stadium with a somewhat different assignment. I'm the first one on the right of the picture. They called me at home and said, you got equipment in the house? And I said, yeah. You got color? I said, yes. Everybody else was I covering was covering in black and white because there were newspapers and had to get out the next day, and we were not. Think about it. As much as we know the babe, he is invariably in black and white. Yankee pinstripe, black and white. Morse's photos, several never seen before, reveal a different Ruth. What would color do? Well, much more than black and white because our eye sees it that way. We saw the white uniform. You saw a sick man. A sick man has a grayish color. And yet you still have the Yankee Stadium. That's what color said. Technically, it was an amazing thing to have color pictures at that time. But also, it's a very wonderful mood that's evoked. It looks as if he's thinking, you know, here's where I was so great, and here's where it's all finished. How could such a wealth of such stirring photographic history have been lost all these years? Situation at life in those days, to get a color photograph printed would take several weeks. I have a strong feeling that the editors felt uh, we've been scooped because of the black and white photo had been seen by everyone. So the picture went into the files and nobody looked at it. But it's too bad that it wasn't used right at the moment. I suspect the Morse photograph never would have had quite the renown that the fine picture has. When you look at the Morse picture, you see that this is a sad, sad, sad creature that we're looking at. And that, that, that's hard for us to live with. The fine picture, because you don't see the face, you don't see the pain, there's a certain glory to it. That's the picture of Babe Ruth that is Babe Ruth to me. You know what, what, what I feel, really? That that's my obituary picture. And when I die, that picture will be in my obit. Nat Fine's classic picture of the Babe stands as a monument both to Fine's talent and to Ruth's majesty. The photograph memorialized the number three forever. Fine himself was presented with the Pulitzer Prize, the first time it was ever awarded for a sports photograph. As for Ralph Morse, although his wonderful color pictures of Ruth hardly ever saw the light of day, he went on to become one of the preeminent photographers with Life magazine.